The Browns signed defensive end Jadavian Clowney earlier this week, but is this a case of a veteran joining a Super Bowl contender or an all-pro who can put this team over the top? I'm Madeline Burke for Sports Illustrated here with SI's Bill Enright. And Bill, the Browns signed the former number one overall pick to a one-year deal. The addition of the three-time Pro Bowler already has the internet abuzz wondering if Cleveland is now a Super Bowl favorite, but what kind of an impact can Clowney make on the Browns? I think it's a great addition to this Cleveland Browns defensive line. You have Miles Garrett on one side, a former number one overall pick. You had another former number one overall pick in Jadavion Clowney. These two players over the last three years, according to ESPN stats and info, number three and five in terms of pass rush win percentage. So they're going to be able to get after the quarterback. And you look at what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just did with Jason Pierre-Paul, who I'm a big fan of, Shaq Barrett, another uh, really good, uh, aggressive player in getting out to the quarterback, they were able to shut down Patrick Mahomes, a big reason why Tampa Bay was able to have that incredible run to the Super Bowl. Arizona, J.J. Watt joining Chandler Jones. So it seems like a trend in the NFL with teams or defensive coordinators or general managers trying to get two dominant edge rushers, guys that can play both defensive end or defensive tackle, get after the quarterback and wreak some havoc on opposing offenses. So I like this move for the Browns. Yeah, I mean, it's clear Cleveland right now is in a point where they're focusing on winning in this short window. They went 6-10 and 10 in 2019, won 11 games last year. They're really stacked with talent. I mean, offensive side of the ball, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, those two combined for nearly 2,000 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns last year. You got number one overall picks on each side of the D-line. As you mentioned, Miles Garrett, 42 and a half sacks his first four seasons in the NFL. And then uh, Jadavian Clowney on the other side. Plus the Browns defense adding Troy Hill, John Johnson, uh, defensive back. So that defense as a whole is going to be more po potent. They can't afford to keep all of this talent on this roster for the long haul. This is a short window kind of a situation. But also Jadavian Clowney, 28 years old, his knees might be double that. I mean, you got to remember. He was injured in the first game of his rookie season in 2014. His 2020 season ended after just eight games because of a meniscus inju injury that required surgery. So if he can stay healthy, this is going to be a huge impact. Even if not, I think his presence will be felt on this Browns defense. Even if it is just for one year, you think about this AFC North division, it's up for grabs, right? Ben Roethlisberger really showed his age toward the end of the season last year. The Ravens, and the Browns, they looked much better in December going through the playoffs than the Steelers did. So if the Browns, you're right. I think you strike while the iron's hot. Even if it is just a one-year deal with Clowney, you have to go after it. I think now's the time for the Browns. They're realizing that they have the roster, they have the talent on both sides of the ball, and they have the coaching staff to really get after it this year. Yeah, and, you know, I don't think it's as much about Jadavian Clowney as it might be about Baker Mayfield. You know, how he does, how he plays. Baker Mayfield is the only quarterback drafted in the top five between 2009 and 2018 who is still with his original team. So if Baker Mayfield can continue to grow in this quarterback, in this leadership role of this Browns team that is stacked with talent, then the sky is the limit for them.